Hello there again, YouTube. It's once again I, your gothic host with the most, Knox Burzum, back to bring you more blasphemous banter. Today, I've got Midwest Grillin' Spicy, Bold and Sassy Premium Barbecue Sauce. Mad Dog Mad and Do Merrill. Yes, from Mad Dog and Merrill. Thank you. I will begin with the top of the label next time. I apologize. Supposedly a new and improved formula. Blended in the Midwest, Mad Dog and Merrill spicy barbecue sauce has a habanero heat without compromising flavor, not just for wings, but for all soon-to-be spicy things. We recommend a good slathering on your favorite beef, pork, or poultry. Like that alliteration. It might even put hair on Merrill's head. I'm assuming Merrill's fucking bald. <laughs> so, pro proclaimed grillologists... You gotta call yourself something when you And to be fair, we've used like two of their other sauces and they're fucking mint. They are. Self proclaimed grillologists, which I suppose you have to call yourself something when you stand at the grill drunk all the time. Mad Dog and Merrill entertain and educate thousands of backyard enthusiasts every year on the fire points of outdoor grilling. They travel the country with their hit TV show, Mad Dog and Merrill Midwest Grilling, which I've never seen or heard of. The main thing that drew us to them is the fact <laughs> that right at the top of their label, it's gluten-free, fat-free, no high fructose, fructose corn, corn syrup, syrup. Yeah, right. and no artificial flavors or preservatives and cholesterol-free. The biggest thing that caught me was no fucking high fructose corn syrup, corn syrup. Showing fans how easy it is to be creative and entertained in their own backyard. Alrighty. Now, real quick here, I just want to say my absolute favorite is... They're number one, literally number one. It's sweet and rich. So now we're trying their spicy. To be 100% fair to my wife, by the way, and I do in private give her a little bit of crap for how sweet and tangy and so spicy she likes her stuff. That is one of the best, in fact, that is one of the three best barbecue sauces I've ever had in my yeah, life. Yeah, that one is very fucking it good. It knocked it so far out of the park. The very first time that I ever tried on wing, I didn't use any dressing. At all. I, I had 12 wings. In so little time that I didn't even have time to use the ranch sauce. Mm -hmm. It's never happened before. So uh, take that into account. Any anyway, rate, well, any further ado. This is the spicy. Fuck it, this is YouTube. It's coming. There you go. And let it build. You got a napkin right next to you anyway. Oh, that is fucking good. That's good. That is fucking That's good. That's very good. I tried some before. That's, um, it's smoky. It's, it's like the number one, but with a bit of Tabasco kick to it. That's exactly what it's like. Uh, it's, it's hard to even describe how it works. Because um, there's so many different notes first, in it. At first, it's not spicy at all. Oh, no. Uh, you taste sweetness and tanginess well before the spice. But then, a few, about 30 seconds later, you start feeling this gradually building heat. Yes. And it becomes just palpable. And it's there on your tongue, but it's not in like an annoying way. It's not, it's not flashy. And to our diabetic friends, it's a total of nine grams of carbohydrates. And of that, eight of those grams being sugar for a serving size of two tablespoons. So that's actually not horrible. Um, and the ingredients being water, sugar, tomato paste, distilled vinegar, molasses, concentrated pineapple juice, salt, food, um, modified food starch, natural smoke flavor, onion powder, habanero mash, which is habanero peppers, salt, vinegar with garlic powder, spices, and natural flavor. So there's very little preservative in this, and a lot of it's just like genuine fucking food. It's really goddamn nice. It it tastes really good. I'm gonna give that. Um, I'm gonna give that an eight as well. I would. Oh, really? I'd give it like a nine or nine point five out of ten. I will go as high as an eight point five, but honestly, I thought it was gonna be a little bit spicier, and I would like it to have a little bit more kick. Now, from my perspective as a person primarily living in the medium heat zone, it's gonna. I, we're gonna do wings either tomorrow night or soon, and I'm I'm very excited to try this because I think. Each wing you eat, the heat's going to build. I hope so. And, I mean, either way, I'm going to enjoy them because they're your wings. But, yeah, that's good. I'm really, really excited about that, how that tastes. I give that an 
it is under four bucks. Go ahead, find yourself a ball at Woodman's if you like spicy, rich barbecue sauces. Peace, love, heavy metal, like, comment, subscribe. Bye.